back with him here in just a little bit. Yes. Uh, we are catching up, we should note, with a brother and sister who know all too well what it's like to have kidney failure. Well, a shining example yeah. of why we chose the East Tennessee Kidney Foundation for our Six on Your Side Day of Service project. Sometimes it's sort of like a frog put in warm water and as the water temperature goes up, the frog doesn't really know what's going on. That's sort of how we were. Link McGinnis is talking about kidney failure caused by polycystic kidney disease, a disease he and his sister Vicki Geist inherited. It's where cysts grow on the kidneys, causing them to slowly, over time, shut down. I was pretty sick, uh, very, very tired, and I took Procrit shots, which were used really for chemo patients to help get them through the day. Our failure uh, was slow and took a lot of time, but uh, if you saw us from one year to the next, you could see quite a bit of difference. But all that changed for this brother and sister almost a decade ago when they found out they were going into kidney failure. We both started looking for um, living donors and uh, put the word out. We had a lot of people offer to uh, donate kidneys to us, so they were being tested. It wasn't long before two living donors were found to be a match. It's just incredible for someone to see a need and say, uh, you know, I can do that. All right. You're 155-102. I was able to go to Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville back in 2005 when Link went through his surgery. Probably I would not be standing here if it were not for organ donation. Polycystic kidney disease is an unwanted legacy in the family, first starting with their grandmother who died from it. Their mother Lois had a kidney transplant 20 years ago. Now mother, daughter, and son are living full and healthy lives. Modern science has come a long way and uh, once you get a new kidney, you really are just as good as anybody else. My life has completely changed because of my donor. Wow. Yeah, and you know, this family is not alone. The numbers, Bo, are staggering. Let's take a look, everyone. According to Donate Life Tennessee, almost 100,000 people in our country are living with kidney failure. And of those, only about 17,000 got a transplant last year. That number in Tennessee, by the way, is 23,000, with fewer than 500 transplants last year. So good to see that family after all yes. this time. Yes, no doubt. And we want to remind everybody, uh, you still have plenty of time to come out here, yeah. stop by the studios and help out. The drive we're doing out on the front lawn going until 6.30 today, right outside of our studios here in North Knoxville. We're on Broadway. Uh, matter of fact, 1306, and it is uh, the, the big castle, if yes. you will, uh, with some Christmas trees. We stand out today, no doubt, with the Christmas trees out in front of the house. You cannot miss us. You can help by donating new blankets, hats, mm -hmm. and gloves. All of it will stay right here in East Tennessee to help those going through dialysis. We thank